What's up, guys? It's S-Fan here. Uh, I'm actually here today with some classic WoW news, which it has been plenty of time since we've gotten some of that. Uh, I, I actually just woke up not too long ago. Uh, Discord DMs, Twitter, everything's getting spammed. Oh, classic up to classic up like, Okay, great. Like, awesome. Uh, I, I really appreciate that, all the people that were um, kind of sending this my way. But let's go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and read through this, and I want to give you guys my thoughts. Uh, <clears throat> this is from Kyvax, Community Manager. Hello, Classic Enthusiasts. We've been following discussion about Classic closely here on the forums and elsewhere throughout the winter and want to give you an update on a few things that the Classic development team has worked on through worked through since BlizzCon and the Classic demo. The feedback we got from the demo was fantastic. Thank you to everyone who gave us so much feedback to work with, especially the community members who compiled lists of issues that people found with the demo. We've looked at everything that was reported and wanted to share a few anecdotes with you so you can see how we're tackling these issues. So what they're talking about here, what they're referring to here... Uh, Specifically, uh, I, I would say, among other things, is uh, there was a big thread on the Classic Wall subreddit talking about, like, oh, uh, I think this is wrong. I think this is wrong. I think this is wrong. And, and, and they went through and they compiled it into a thread. Uh, I know I've talked about it before. Um, I know, I, I mean, we, we, we talked to Yethesins, of course. We had him on Classic Cast. If you guys don't know what Classic Cast is, Classic Cast is our. Classic WoW podcast, the premier Classic WoW podcast, actually, uh, with myself, with Tips Out Baby, with Stay Safe TV, uh, and it's over here on my channel, so you guys should definitely check that out if uh, if you if you don't know what that is or you haven't checked it out before. But um, Yithasins, I mean, we we would give a lot of feedback to Yithasins as a community, right? Not not just ourselves, and you know, this basically reiterates what he said. You know, what you know, we we would give him the message and he would deliver it to the team, so um, or to the rest of the team, I should say. So that's 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 really really cool to see you know Blizzard actually coming out and saying hey this is what's going on so uh, very very good to know that our feedback's being accounted for I guess one thing many players noticed was the incorrect health regeneration in the spell yes <laughs> yes a lot of people noticed that good catch <laughs> going into the demo we thought we'd fix that and we're surprised to see the issue crop up before BlizzCon we specifically checked health and mana regeneration and fixed the critical hit cases we also did combat and regen tests to make sure we had those accurate okay so yeah um basically what was happening in the demo was uh two things spell critical hit multiplier spells were doing double damage on crits in vanilla wow uh if a spell crits it does one and a half times damage unless you have a talent that modifies it in some other way uh such as frost mages doing double damage with uh frost spell crits so uh and then as far as the health regeneration goes we i mean we're just regening health super fast i mean we did dueling tournaments on on tips channel and on stay safe channel and the the especially on it was especially bad on stay safe channel but the duels lasted so long right and the reason why it was worse on stay safes was because we had paladins and paladins have blessing of wisdom and they basically could draw out the duels like forever essentially with the high health regen high mana regen uh paladins ended up being really really annoying to deal with so it ended up making the the alliance duels last way longer but they looked at this and they're like oh yeah that's that's definitely wrong so they got that fixed Turns out there was a discrepancy between how classes was configured on our environment at the office, correct, and the environment serving the demo to you. Not correct. Yes. We talked about this. Okay, we talked about this on Classcast, actually. Uh, tracking that down taught us how to best ca check our environment configuration as we prepare it for launch. So what Blizzard has is they have a reference client. And kind of the story of how like Classic started, it basically started as like a side passion project uh, with a few team members or, or one or two team members. They did it on the side. And they're like, can we even get this to work? Right. And then whenever they eventually figured out, hey, we got this to work, we they basically started turning into a real thing. Right. The fact that they could even get it to work on their servers. Um, so they still have the original thing as a reference client, but they can't like they can't get it to work as is with the current servers without crashes and bugs. It's not seamless, and that's not something that they can actually release as a product. Because that was the first thing they tried to do before they said, okay, well, let's take the 735 Legion client and downport it. So that's why they're approaching the game this way. And in some ways, it's easier, I think, uh, at least from, from, from what I'm seeing. It looks like it's easier to do it this way as far as getting it to work on the servers. But what's difficult about it is that you actually actually having to go through and uh, meticulously look at 
Okay, this is wrong. We got to fix this. Spell crits are doing two times. We're going to make this one and a half times. Health regen is too high. Uh, energy regen is too high for rogues. And they got to look at all these little things and fix them as opposed to like, hey, we have the old game. Let's just pop it in there and make it work, right? And uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. Uh, I think everybody would, would like for that to be the case, but it's just not. Um, <clears throat> Another issue players reported was that Warlock Demon Summoning was broken. Uh, lots of players said that you shouldn't lose your current demon until a new one appears. This is not true. We double checked and in the original 1.12 WoW and there, as soon as you started summoning a new demon, your existing demon disappeared. So the demo actually did match how the game played originally. There were a few other reports, such as rare mobs do way less damage, and kobolds that jangle and mine run faster than walking speed when running away, where we were able, where we were able to confirm that the gameplay was the same in the demo as in the original 1.12 WoW. Been all the while. So yeah, and, I, and I've been talking about this since Classic was announced. Just because we remember something a certain way, and, I, and I've made mistakes too, right? Everybody makes mistakes. You remember something a certain way, like, oh yeah, I guess it wasn't like that, right? Or if you've been playing on like private servers for a long time and the private servers happen to be wrong, your memory gets clouded and you feel like, well, this is right, right? This is how it is on the private server. It's not like this on the demo. There's going to be certain things such as the warlock demon summoning that are going to turn out to be, oh, like this is not accurate. It should work this way, but it works that way. Um, but it, it's not going to be the case, right? You're going to think it's not accurate, but it actually is. So the reason why, I mean, this actually makes sense too from, from like a design and balance standpoint. Uh, like the Warlock Demon Summoning, because I I'm sure this was done to prevent some sort of BS where you're summoning a demon while well, you have a current demon out. Let's say you have a succubus out and uh, you're just basically getting like seduced, right? Succubus is seducing you while you're casting a demon, like free casting, essentially. I I'm sure I, I, I think it makes sense. It's important to point out that there are some bugs we're going to fix before launch and there are some bugs that we don't intend to address. Uh, I think what they mean by some bugs we don't intend to address is probably like some things that people reported that are issues, but they may not actually be issues or, um, as we mentioned in our BlizzCon presentation, some differences aren't worth fixing, like differences in how the mail works. Nonetheless, we've fix fixed some fairly high priority issues. Okay. Or some stuff like this, right? Uh, and, and they've talked about this too. I personally don't have a big deal with this. Like I, I, I like I have CT mod, CT mail mod, um, how the mail works, I think what they're talking about there is is mostly like just being able to send multiple items at once. I, I don't have that big of a deal with this personally. Uh, nonetheless, we fixed some fairly high priority issues. Critical strike rating, each item now improves your chance to get a critical strike by X percent. Yeah, and this is something that we knew they were going to fix, right? There, there wasn't going to be ratings. There was going to be percentages. Uh, I think there's... I think it's, some of that stuff was basically just like... I don't know, artifacted over from just downpointing the client and they hadn't really got to it yet. Rogue energy didn't work right. We mentioned that earlier. It was benefiting both from melee haste and reca recalculating more often than it was supposed to. Uh, both issues were fixed. Slow fall no longer applies to your jumps. You get, you again get pushed back when hit by range attacks and ones. Dodge, parry, and miss were all not happening enough. Which, um, yeah, that's probably right actually. Yeah, that's probably right. Um, now that I think about it. Uh, slow fall no longer applies to your jumps. I'm sure what it means here is uh, slow fall no longer applying to your jumps. Slow fall kicks in whenever you jump, but it doesn't kick in until... It doesn't kick in at the top of the jump. And I think that's what this is referring to here. So if you slow fall... Here we go. Here we go, make a little. Okay. So when you slow fall... From my understanding, if this is the ground, let's say let's say you're on a cliff, right? And you start at this point and you jump, the slow fall doesn't kick in. This is a good picture. Until you you basically hit the level at which you jumped at yet. That's not that's not bad. I'm pretty happy with that. It's not, I mean, it's, you know, it's a little bit, but you guys get the idea. Um, so yeah, slow fall doesn't apply to your jumps. Uh, you again get pushed back, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we already read that. That's not all we've done, of course, but we want to give you an idea of what we're prioritizing, core game systems, combat, and content. We spent time on other things, such as user interface and making sure graphics feel like they were they used to, but our primary focus is on gameplay. 
Again, we're following all your discussions and loving your enthusiasm, and we're going to get more information for you posted here soon. Not soon. Soon. No, soon, not soon, TM. So actually soon. Thank you, and get ready for a classic summer. So again, just reiterating that, hey, guys, classic is coming out this summer. It's just good, right? We know, like 100% confirmed, hey, classic is coming out this summer. What does summer mean? It's a few-month range, but hey, it could be four months from now. It could be three months from now. Dude, we're in March. Today is the first day of March. So we could be getting it anywhere from three months to, I mean, three months, June, July, August. Uh, maybe September would be the latest, but maybe three to five months from now, three to six months from now. Something to be excited about, man. We're getting close. And uh, as we're getting closer, hopefully we're going to get more news. We're going to get some news about the alpha. We'll get some news about a beta, some sort of testing period. If there's no actual like fleshed out testing period, then I'm hoping that they do some stress test. I think that a beta is important. I, I do think this. Uh, I think that, or I say beta, whenever I say beta, some sort of testing is important. Uh, a stress test for how the server launches is really, really important. Um, I think the thing I think is important about a beta is that people can go through and you can get on a larger scale uh, testing. I mean, there's people, I mean, we got, we got big vanilla brains here. Okay. And the big vanilla brains are going to go through and they're going to look at every little thing and they're going to say, Oh, this is right. This is wrong. And whether they're right or wrong, um, it's, it's not the end all be all because they're going to go through and they're going to double check it with their reference client, but they're at least going to have a list of issues such as the list that was posted on the classic while subreddit, which was really, really good and comprehensive, uh, for blizzard to actually go through and look at. So I, th I think it's important. Uh, I might even, uh, I might even make a video about that in the future. Uh, guys, if you're new here, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, whether you're new here or you're not, Make sure to hit the bell because YouTube is, YouTube is weird and there's there's some weird stuff with YouTube. If you don't hit the bell, then you may not get my video showing up in your recommended because I'm doing a little bit wider range of content right now. Like, you know, I'm doing a little bit of stream highlights and I want to do some stuff uh, maybe outside of Classic WoW, uh, even just like discussion videos, just talking about stuff on YouTube. I, I really want to expand my YouTube channel, but I've been streaming so much on Twitch that... Uh, I haven't really had as much time to do it. And then also, um, kind of just waiting for more classic news to really get it rolling again. Uh, I did get an editor, but then things didn't work out. He, he actually, he ended up getting like another job or whatever. So I'm, I'm looking for an editor again to do more stream highlights and, uh, maybe some other stuff too. So guys, again, please subscribe. If you like my channel, hit it with a like that helps me out too. follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash S fan TV, discord.gg, the biggest Classic WoW content creator Discord. Over 6,000 people. We're pushing 7,000 people in that Discord. So discord.gg slash svantv. A lot of good discussion happens there. Come hang out in voice. Come have a good time. Instagram, svantv. svantv on every platform. So again, I stream a lot on Twitch. Go check me out there. I'm doing all kinds of stuff right now. Not really just WoW. Uh, kind of waiting for Classic. We're doing IRL. We're doing variety. Uh, just having a good time in general, man. That's That's the whole point. So... Check me out there, and I'll see you guys soon.